Man, I hate to start this video on such a down note, but before we start covering Race with Ryan, I really need to talk with y'all about something big that's going to happen. I'm sure that by now you've all heard about the new COPPA regulations, where creators are being forced to mark their content as made for kids if it looks like it appeals to that demographic. Personally, I've always covered kid-friendly games on this channel, and it's undeniable that many of my past videos were directed toward a younger audience. Because of this, I'm sadly going to have to mark almost all of my previous videos on my channel as made for kids next month. And this will probably also apply to the future videos that I make here as well, because as of now, I'm almost positive that YouTube's going to see my future Nintendo videos as videos for kids. What this sadly means is that notification, likes and dislikes, and comments will all be disabled for all of my videos that are marked as such. Sadly, this does mean I will lose almost all interaction with y'all on YouTube, and that is what hurts me the most. I love being able to talk with you guys in the comments of videos, and having that removed is going to be something that is devastating to me, but it feels like it's unavoidable. However, if you guys enjoy this content that I make on this channel and still want to communicate with me, then please consider making a Discord account and joining my server, where I have daily conversations with y'all and share every time that I make a new video. So many of my viewers have already joined the server and it's so nice to be able to talk with them and hear their feedback on a regular basis. I really hope that, despite these new limitations, I can still talk and bond with you guys as a community because getting to know so many of y'all has easily been one of the best parts of being a YouTuber. And I'm being serious. So if you do want to join, the link to my Discord will be on screen and in the description down below. Thank you so much for listening to this portion of this video. But with all that crap now out of the way, hey y'all, I'm Ramble Gaming, the home of the gaming, and today we're going to be talking about one of the best games that I have ever played in my gaming career, Race with Ryan. This is a real video game that actually exists, and so happens to be on the PC, the Xbox One, the PS4, and the Nintendo Switch. Just, <laughs> just why? For those of you who have no idea why I'm making such a big deal of this game, let me provide some background. Ryan is an eight year old kid from the extremely popular YouTube channel, Ryan's World, formerly known as Ryan Reviews Toys. Now, I would love to describe more about his channel, my thoughts on it, and even show some of the channel's footage, but, <coughs> so it's probably better for all of us if I just don't do that. Okay, But anyways, Ryan has become such a popular star on YouTube that he's gotten his own line of toys, gotten his own Nickelodeon show, which by the way has 2 out of 10 stars on IMDb, yikes. And now he even has his own racing game that's on every major platform, called Race with Ryan. Yup, that's right, YouTubers are now getting their own official video games. This is the future, guys. Anyways, this video game was published on November 1st by Outright Games, the amazing game developer who's made outstanding hits in the past, like Paw Patrol on a Roll and Ice Age Scrat's Nutty Adventure. I mean, who could forget Scrat's Nutty Adventure, am I right? <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a whole separate video on this game, aren't I? So with this game in the hands of such an incredibly ingenious and talented game developer, many people were setting ridiculously high expectations for this game, including myself. So the real question stands, does Race with Ryan live up to the hype? Is it actually a good game? <laughs> no. It's, it's, no, no, it's really, really bad. Like, seriously, really bad. I mean, I did expect it to be mediocre at best because, you know, it's literally a game about an 8-year-old YouTube star racing with his make-believe friends. I'm sure that this game had a very, very low budget, but you know, the trailer that they put out a while ago made it seem like it was at least decent, so I wasn't expecting anything too horrible. This is, oh my gosh. I really didn't expect it to be this bad, you guys. <laughs> let's, let's just get this over with. Welcome to Race with Ryan! Oh no, he talks. Of course, he talks. Play alone! Oh no! So in case it isn't obvious, Race with Ryan is literally just a Mario Kart clone, but so much worse in literally every single aspect. I love how the graphics for this game look amazing in the trailers, but the actual product looks like it was made on the PS2. There are only 6, count them, 6 unique tracks which you can race on, and 21 amazing characters to choose from, including choices like Astronaut Ryan, Choo Choo Gus, Farm Gill, and <gasps> even Pizza Delivery Ryan! 
So once you've chosen your racer and track, it's time to get to racing with your best buddy Ryan. Here we go! Awesome. I regret all of my life choices that led up to this moment. So the controls in this game are extremely floaty, unpredictable, and straight up broken, okay? The turning just feels off, traction feels non-existent, the B button is accelerate and the A button is reverse for some gosh darn reason, and most of the time drifting just straight up plants you into the wall where you'll be stuck for a couple of seconds before you can slowly turn around and start racing again. I can't even tell what's happening half the time in this game. Let's not forget to mention that almost all this game's items- oh wait, no, I'm sorry. Almost all this game's magic skills are pretty much just straight up stolen from the Mario Kart games and are nowhere near as fun to use. You got your green shell, you got your red shell, you got your fake item boxes, you got your mushroom boosts, you got your piranha plant, I guess, you got your heart. The list just keeps going and going. And guess what? You even got your in-game options for smart steering and auto acceleration. Do those features sound familiar? No, not at all, not in the slightest. Plus, all six of these tracks in this game are so basic and uninspired where they straight up aren't even fun to race on. Even the tracks from Heathcliff, the Fast and the Furriest for the Nintendo Wii are more creative and fun than these ones are. Yeah, that's right. A racing game about a Garfield ribboff that came out over 10 years ago is more inventive than Race with Ryan. I just made that comparison. Gotta say, these games look pretty equal graphically though. Also, to add on to the pain, most courses in Race with Ryan can often just be straight up confusing. I mean, isn't it really cool when you take a 90 degree turn at a fork in the road, and then all of a sudden you're going the wrong way? What amazing level design! Why do the loading screens last forever? Why do the walls have such bad collision? Why does this game's music sound so generic? This probably isn't even original music, is it? Why are the difficulties represented by emojis? Why does the hamburger item even exist? What does it do? And why won't Ryan stop freaking talking? Oh yeah! Awesome! You're in trouble! Remember to use the map skill! Two laps to go! Oh yeah! Oh no! You're in trouble! Yeah! Remember to use the map skill! No! Buzz off! Buzz off! Buzz off! You wanna know why this game is called Race with Ryan instead of Racing with Ryan? It's because the players will do one race of this game, realize how abominable it is, delete it off their system immediately afterwards, and never play it or touch it ever again. That's why my final rating for Race with Ryan is a 9 out of 10. It has a little something for everyone. For more on Race with Ryan and other racing games as well, keep it here on IGN. <laughs>